Hello all, welcome back to Learning Partner. If you are new, please do subscribe. This is another channel where you can directly connect with me. We have around 1000 plus members already who are working. We take live coding sessions and everything so to just get notified about those sessions. Please do join this group. So welcome back to Angular 19 tutorial. Angular 19 got released. So with Angular team, with every six months, they are releasing their next version. And with every new version, they are coming up with something new. Right, which is making Angular more stable and performance wise also they are trying to continuously improve. Correct? Now, so from up to Angular 16, Angular was something, uh, the project structure was something else, but after Angular 17, we got standalone component. So from then it is continuously some new things are coming. So like that in Angular 19 also so many new things are there, like resource API is there, we can declare template variable in the HTML also. Again, so many small, small things are there. So in this complete tutorial, I will be going through all the topics. With each episode, we will be trying to cover at least one or two topics so that you will have an idea of partic uh, particular video will be focused with the particular topic, right? Now in this first episode, we are going to discuss about how do we do the installation and the setup. So first thing, if you have to work on Angular, you need the Node.js software in your system. So what you need to do, you just need to Google Node.js and this will be the website you will be opening and you just need to download it and it's a simple application. You just click on next, next, next and you will be able to install it. Once you install the Node.js, you have to check it also like if it is installed or not. So just open a command prompt. After opening the command prompt, just type npm space hyphen v. It will provide you the version. In my system, it is around 10.2.3, but in your system, it can be something else. Fine. So once you are done with Node.js installation, next thing is we have to install Angular CLI. Now, what is Angular CLI? CLI stands for command line interface. Means whenever we work with Angular, everything from project creation, component creation, directive, everything, whatever we have to create, even running the project also, we do that by using the CLI command, means command which will work on the command prompt, fine. So we need that package available in your system. So this is the command, npm install minus G is for global and this is our package name. So this command you need to install. So currently, let me just show you in my system what I have. I might be having 17 or something, 18. So you can see over here, Angular CLI 18 version is there in my system. Now I have to update it. So even it doesn't matter if you have it, uh, if you have the Angular already installed or not, you can again install it. Fine. Now let's try to do this. npm install minus g Angular CLI. Let's copy and paste it. This command will only work if you have npm already installed. Okay. Let's enter. So now this will update, this will install the latest Angular CLI version. Let's wait for some time. So now you can see after successful installation, this is something will look like 98 packages added or something removed packages. Again, I have tried NGV. So now you can see my Angular CLI got updated to 19.0. That is the latest one we have. See over here, 19 is there. Fine. So first you do the Node.js setup, then you install the Angular, .c Angular CLI. Next thing, as you have the, as you have got the Angular CLI, now you can create the project. Now we will move back to the project creation. So let's go to day folder. I will create a folder to store an Angular project. You can also do the same Angular 19, just a folder I'm creating. Let's go inside this folder. Now we have to open a command prompt over here. So either you can put it over here or right click and open a terminal, anything. So let's open CMD. So you can see I got the command prompt on that particular folder. Now we have to create a new project. So to create the new project, the command is ng new, then whatever the project name you want to give. ng stands for this Angular CLI. If you don't have Angular CLI now, so you won't be able to use this ng. Right? Now ng new. We have to create the project. Now we have to provide the project name also. Let's say Angular 19 tutorial. Just a project name I'm giving. Enter. 
So once you press the enter, it will ask you like, uh, do you want to go with CSS, SAS, LES, right? So we are simply going with CSS. Again, one more question will be there that do you need a server-side rendering or not? So from uh, Angular 17 and before that also we had that. So now SSR is very on a stable level. So if you need the SSR enabled, you can say yes, but we, we are not going with the SSR. We are simply going with the normal folder structure because we are just focused with the tutorial. So I will say no and press enter. So now our project got created and here you can see something is going on, installing packages. Installing packages and in bracket you have NPM. So now what it is doing, it has created the basic project. After that it is installing the node modules. So from where it is installing NPM. So let me show you NPM. Just open one more tab and just write NPM npm.js so npm.js is a package bundler means it's a common platform where all the packages are there it's not just about angular react libraries are also there dot net java python all libraries are over here just like that angular libraries are also there okay so till this time it is going on let's open the project now now you must have visual studio already installed or not you can just uh, simply Google Visual Studio Code and uh, install it. So let's open a new instance of VS Code, new window. Now I have to open this particular project. So let's click on open folder. In D drive, we have, put, we have created Angular 19. So this is our folder and this is our project. So you need to open the particular folder of the project, select folder. So now you can see we got the project and this node module is currently installing. Let it install. Okay, it is successfully installed also. Fine. Now, once that node module is successfully installed, now you will be able to see this node module folder. Unless you are not able to see the node module folder, now you won't be able to run the project. So just wait for some time, let that process complete. And this will look like it, like packages successfully installed or something. Fine. So we have successfully created the project. Now I will just go through like what things are there. Now, uh, this is the basic or default project what we got. Let me just, now, since it's a project, so project will have so many files and uh, we have to compile it also. Then only our project will run. So outside also there are so many files. So first important file is package.json, okay? So here you can see we got the 19 version and everything, but that is the latest one. Now. What is package.json? It's a simple JSON file. It contains entries of the packages which I am going to use in my Angular project. By default, there are some packages. So you can see animation, common, compiler, core, forms, RxJS, zone.js. So some default packages will be over here. Again, we can create our script also. These are some default script and we can create our script also. Some packages are for dev dependency. These are these packages we use for local development only, okay? Now, so from where we are actually uh, installing these packages. So let's just try to search this angular slash common. So these packages we are downloading from npm.js. If we go over here and search it, you will be able to find it. See, this package is created by Google and the Angular team. Latest version is 19.0.0. You can see published 18 hours ago, just yesterday it, it got released. So it is maintained by Angular and the Google team. Fine. So whatever the packages you see in package.json, they are, they are getting downloaded from npm.js and put it into this node module folder. Okay. But now if you see over here, we have limited number of packages, but in node module, you can see so many packages are there. See, so these are whatever the dependencies packages these packages need all it will install means this will install all the packages plus what are the dependent packages for animation common that it will install that also so that's why you will be able to see so many packages over here fine now so package.json will contain entries of the packages which you are going to use in your angular project let's say if you are going to use material or bootstrap so you will add bootstrap over here and what version you want to use fine so package.json will contain entries of the packages along with their version what you are going to use in your angular project this is the first important file 
then we have angular dot json now as i said angular is a project so whenever we talk about project every project will have some configuration file so in in uh, in angular we have angular dot json which is a configuration file for our angular project means all the setting of our angular project will be over here okay now all the file linking and everything will be over here now we will come to that so as i said angular dot json is my configuration for my project right configuration for file for my project now over here as we know angular is a single page application correct we will have a just a single page one only html file will be there which will be running whole our angular application so that is over in src folder index.html okay now this is that single page application but in angular.json a linking is there so here you can see line number 70 index here we have specified that index.html okay so this is my single page application after that index.html it will have app root okay so this is where our whole angular application will render this page will be constant and inside this app root our whole angular application will run fine now a reference of index.html is provided in the angular.json after that you can see browser is there and something like main.ts now here comes the second important file so outside again files are there but package.json and angular.json these are the two important files we have outside then in src folder we have main.ts so main.ts is our starting point of our angular application whenever our angular application start it will start this is the first file which will execute okay and the entry of main.ts and index.html is provided over here so from here it will know which file it has to start first so main.ts main.ts is our starting point of our angular application from here our angular application starts clear now if we see the main.ts here we can find the reference of app component so when we create the angular project by default we get a component now what is component we will we will see that in the upcoming episode next episode only okay so here you can see the reference of app component and we have app config also so now app component and app config are coming from our app folder see over here and it is what it is doing it is bootstrapping our app component this bootstrap and our css bootstrap is different bootstrapping means it is powering powering our application or it is just giving a start bootstrap to our application so when it is starting our application it is saying like this app component you need to first execute means it will create an instance of our app component first so in app folder we have our app component now when we talk about component component will have html .ts and the css file see and one more testing file is there so component will minimum have three files okay then we have app config.ts so in previous project structure now we used to have app module but now we don't have app module that app module is got replaced by app config okay it's not a module it's just a ts file fine after that we have route file so as angular is a single page application but still we have to add that navigation also like one from one page we are able to navigate to another page from one page again we are navigating to some other that look and feel we can manage by using the routing library it is already provided in the angular so we have to create the routes of the component for that this is the file okay so app config then route dot file these are the important file in app component and outside we have main dot, uh, style dot css file is there so this is the file where you will keep your global css global css overall let's say text primary text gender some classes there some css classes there which you are going to use over all the project so that classes you will put it over here so these are this that's it in this episode like basic information how do we create the project uh, angular installation and what are the project Im important files we have in the angular that i have already explained in next episode we will start with the component right if you are new please do like and subscribe Let's see you in the next episode now.